hey guys welcome back so today is saturday and it's the last weekend before our actual travel i want to start packing i will show you guys how i pack so i'll be starting with baby girl's things what i did yesterday is that i brought out um all the things i want to pack like i selected them into outfits categories for her and the different things i want to pack and i put them in a huge bag so i will be putting them in her box right away this is baby girl's box the OGs on this channel know this box already it's slightly bigger than a hand luggage just slightly and yeah this one should be using just because for kids on a flight the luggage allowance i don't think it's the same as for adults i'm actually going to call the airline today to confirm but like yeah this is what we're using to pack for this one <laughs> This is what the inside of her box looks like. I'm only showing you this to tell you how we're categorizing it. So this place where it actually closes with a zipper, I'm putting different categories of items here, yeah, and this other place can be tied to. Yeah, so like I said, I selected all her things and I put it in this big bag. So one of the essentials, obviously, if you're traveling with a baby, you know, is wipes. So I'm just taking two out of these wipes. Oh shit, we are arranging it on the bed. Sounds of how I made it. I'm traveling with one, no, I'm traveling with two towels. I took one, which is this uh, white towel that you guys know. But I'm also planning on buying a set of towels for baby and I and the set I know is a set of three with one big towel one medium size and one small size so I'm hoping to find it in Blanco when I go out today so the big one will be for me the medium one will be for her and the small one as well be for her <laughs> diapers I will only pack about half of this I'm not obviously packing it like this I will arrange it I'll buy other packs and today you be wondering why am I traveling with a shawl for her? I think I'm actually going to put this in my either my hand luggage because if it's really cold on the plane, I want to cover her properly. And then I'm traveling just because it's a baby that like, I don't want to assume. Obviously, we would have to wear that though. But I know that like a lot of times my mom prefers buying bed sheets than actually duvets for some reason, and the ACs can be quite cold. So I just want to have this for her but now that i'm thinking of the plane i may not pack this in the box i may just keep this aside and put it in our hand luggage yes i'll put this in my own hand luggage so if i need to use it on the plane i'll just take it out so obviously we're going on a holiday i got her this um what they call this life jacket Okay, I got her this life jacket. It's um unicorn baby boot with glitter just for the aesthetics. Yeah, I want baby girl to take pictures in the pool. I showed this to you guys before but these are like travel essentials for me which are mosquito repellents I just realized I have more bracelets than so basically these are like mosquito bracelets so you wear this on your child to repel mosquitoes they are mosquito bands okay you can put it on the hand or on the leg I always put it on her leg so that she doesn't suck on it and this is the spray and mosquito cream I think added to this I will still get odomas you're traveling in a tropical region this is africa and you want to protect your kids from mosquito bites so these are great yeah so i got her some sandals obviously she hasn't worn this type of sandal before baby girl is growing and yeah she has actually mixed up this stuff they were more arranged than this but yeah so for her shoes i'm just taking a few so in terms of outfits i literally just arranged them per outfit 
So these are her pajamas and I just arranged them together. It's just easier. So you don't just pack different, different things back and forth. So I packed three sets of pajamas. No, not three actually. I packed these three pajamas. Then I also bought these um, two piece, what's that called? Bodysuit sets, which she would use with some trousers as pajamas. So that makes it five sets of pajamas. We're staying for nine days. Yeah, nine days. So I think five sets of pajamas should be okay. Obviously, I'll put the trousers that she would wear this. I think five sets should be okay so I can wash intermittently. Then I got her this swimming costume that I absolutely love. And my own swimming costume that I already had is red. So it would pair. Then I have another swimming costume. My mom said she bought her a swimming costume as well. So hopefully it will match mine. So that is that. I put her perfume that her auntie got her for her birthday, Auntie Joy, because it's just so cute. And it smells like bubbling. So I just put that among her stuff. I took some headpieces, some stuff. I'm still going to like pack more of her headpieces. So I bought her a pack of socks for school actually. So I just took, it was a pack of 12. So I just took three out of the pack which is these three colors black you can see what it looks like they're really cute so the black the white and the pink so it would go with whatever she needs it for i do this just so that i'm not randomly packing i actually wrote out our outfits per days and i put them together so like this one now there's the pop socks there's a dress and there's the overall she would wear with it. So I just put it as an outfit like that. So no, you're not going to be seeing nine outfits. It's more than nine because obviously like there's her stay home clothes, like this kind of one. It's I put it like this because it's rainy season. So it could be a cold day and she would wear this. But like, yeah, there's like her stay home clothes. There's like going out clothes. You no know, children and they'll change like three or four times during this. So then in fact this other sort of outfit so literally all her outfits are like done together together i also have some tops that can be worn with like the same kind of pair of leggings like white leggings you can wear with both so i just put them together and the white leggings will be on top so yeah let me just arrange all her things on the bed and yeah i'll show you guys So this is how I packed her outfits, basically how I'm arranging out her outfits. Like I said, it's already arranging outfits and I'll just fold them and put together. So when I'm bringing out something for her to wear, I'm not confused. Um, everything is not here, but almost everything is here. So her toiletries, I won't pack it till the last day. Her multivitamins, her toothpaste. I bought a new pack of toothbrushes, which you can see over there like things like her toothpaste and stuff like that i won't pack it till the morning yeah i won't like to put them in like our hand luggage or something so yeah i'll be packing this then i'll wait to have an idea of how much it weighs especially because i still want to add a couple of things of mine into her own box but yeah this is what we have right now and let's just start packing so this is the first stage of packing i'm actually going to try and get her a toiletries um purse today so i'll put her toothbrush her toiletries and everything in that purse just so that everything is organized um i'll put the rest of her shoes and bags her tablet i'm not putting it yet and 
this other handbag just a couple more things i think i have one or two more leggings to add here and one more dress no two more dresses actually but yeah this is just about it i'll close it for now just keep it on the floor in my room until i think wednesday tuesday or wednesday then i'll finish this up so these are my own items that i'm prepping for packing and this is literally a night before we travel and i'm just trying to make sure all the outfits are arranged just like i did there's still loads here 